Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the fifth in a series of video tutorials on how to create a mobile game in Unity 5. So this episode we're going to be focusing on creating uh, collectibles as well as a particle system. We'll also be writing a script as well to uh, create a bit of a rotation for what we collect. So the object I want to create a collection for will be, uh, we'll go for a star, since it's kind of a space sort of theme. So We'll go with star. First things first, game object, 3D object, cube. So let's make it as simple as we can. And what I want to do is I want to bring this cube on the same level as our ship. So you can see, you can either, in fact, it looks like it's online anyway. Okay, so that looks fine. So what you would normally do if it brings the cube into uh, the wrong position is just align the axis on uh, the x-axis, I should say, with uh, this here. So in this case, uh, we just need to bring it. Um, in fact, let's say it's pretty aligned. Yeah. OK, so we'll keep that there for now. So we'll just make sure that we can actually fly into it first of all. OK, yeah, that should do just fine. So I'm going to expand this and make it a scale of 2 by 2. And on the Z or Z, I'm going to make this thin. So I'm going to have this as 0 0.1. I'm going to right click, uh, rename, and I'm going to call it star 001. Next thing, in materials, I'm going to create a, a yellow type of material. So right click, create, and let's go to uh, material just there. I'm going to call this just yellow. And over here, what we'll do is, um, if you remember with this sky background, we dragged over our actual image to put in the albedo just there. Uh, with the rocket colours, we did the actual colour. So we're going to do the same again. And in this yellow, let's set the colour as yellow. Obviously, you can set it as whatever colour you want. If you want blue stars, that's fine. If you want green, you do that. So I'm going to change the metallic to about there and decrease the smoothness just a touch. And then drag and drop material onto our cube. I want to make this a little bit more yellowy rather than being so dull. So let's play around. Okay, so we'll keep it like that. Next thing, control D, duplicate. And it's called it that, put one in brackets. But what we're going to do is we're going to rotate on the Z or Z axis by 45 degrees. So as it now creates a kind of a star. Now, what we'll need to do is we'll need to couple this one into this one. So we can go straight in there. So now we have a star. What I'd like to do now is rotate that star. So we'll write a script. So we head to our script folder, right click, create, and JavaScript. I'm going to call this star rotation. Not rotation, rotation. Okay. And open that up in Mono Develop or Visual Studio, whichever one you're using. It's going to be a small script, this. Um, we're going to set just one single variable and we're going to write just one line of code. So it's not too difficult at all. Now, the first variable we're going to do, var, and we'll simply call it speed. So this will be how quickly our um, variable, uh, sorry, how quickly the, the star will uh, spin by using this variable so we can set it in Unity itself. So we'll have this as int. In actual fact, I think we'll need two lines of code when we do this because we'll need to kind of specify the uh, value of the speed. So let's do a function and it'll be update. 
open close bracket and open curly bracket and we'll put speed equal to let's do just two for now and we can modify this in just a second so the next line of code we'll need we need to rotate the object which this script will be attached to so we need to transform and remember it's a lowercase t on transform and an uppercase r on rotate so should have, sorry you should have transform dot rotate and then we need to specify in brackets a couple of numbers so we need to rotate on the y axis because i would like it to spin um lengthways rather than um, vertical so horizontal not vertical so the first one will be the x-axis, which we don't want to rotate on, so that will be 0. The second one will be the y-axis, which is the one we want to rotate on. And this is where we type speed. And then the third one is going to be 0, because it's the z or z-axis. And then finally, after the uh, third comma, we need to put space dot world close bracket, semicolon. So remember there, capital S, capital W. Now, the reason we put space.world is it's um, kind of apply the information relative to the world we've built. So when it rotates, it rotates it correctly according to how we've built our world. Now, the world is defined as anything which is in this scene. So after that, we close our curly bracket and save. Let's head back to Unity and you can see it just having a quick think about what we've written, which is fine. Uh, no errors in our script to clear everything in the console. And what I want to do now is drag and drop this script onto star 001. Make sure you drop it on the parent object, not the child object, which we changed to a 45 degree angle. Do not drop it on that one. So onto there, like so. And you'll see here, speed, it does say zero. And we set it to two in the function update. Now, strictly, you probably may not need a variable there if you want to keep the speed um, as it is, a uh, sort of a constant speed. So just to kind of prove it here, we press play, and this should change to two. And you can see just before our um, rocket passes it that it is spinning. So I'm going to move it over here and down a touch and press play. So you can see our star spinning. So I'm going to save our project there. And the next thing I'd like to do is I would like to add a particle system to our star. So right click on star and go to uh, Particle System just at the bottom. Uh, I'm not going to rename Particle System. I'm going to keep it uh, called Particle System for now because it doesn't make too much of a difference. Settings over here, we'll go into, we won't go into every setting, but we'll go into the ones which are kind of relevant to what we want. So firstly, let's set our color to a nice yellow color. There we go. Um, start size, let's set, well, let, let's play around with this. Let's set a 0 0.1. You can see very slightly now you should have a few little particles emanating from the center of our star. So the higher this number, you can see that they are quite large. So by the time it gets to 16 here, it looks like it's glowing. So it's entirely up to you what kind of start size you want. I'm going to keep it at 1. In fact, no, I'm going to have it as 2 for now. Start speed, obviously, how fast it goes. So I'm going to keep this as, I'm going to set it as 3. Start lifetime, we won't bother with too much. It's not too important, to be honest. Not with this anyway. Max particles, that's how many there is. So to give you a bit of insight into this, if you have your start speed set relatively high, you will also need your max particles set quite high too, so you can kind of see them a bit more. 
but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it set as how I did have it. Emission, we won't change anything on that. Shape, now I want to change this from um, a cone, I think I'll change it to sphere. That's very, very, yeah, I quite like how that looks. So we just need to modify now. In fact, should we try hemisphere? No, we'll, we'll stick with sphere. So I'd like to modify this now. Uh, let's change our start size to 0 0.1. Zero, zero point one. There we go. A few problems there. Um, and let's increase it. Oops, slightly. Okay, so maybe we need zero point five. So they're kind of going everywhere. So lifetime, let's change to one. Max particles. Let's set this as maybe ten thousand. See how that looks. Mm. No, we don't need to worry about that. So let's set that back as a thousand. Uh, let's see, what else can we change on here? Let's change um, size over lifetime. So if we click on that there, we can change the size of our uh, particles rather than be massive the whole way. So if you click on this size over lifetime and then click on the gray box here, you'll have this at the bottom, a red line with two dots either side. If you drag the right hand dot all the way down, it will give the illusion that the particles are shrinking as they're going out. So next, let's, uh, let, let's play with some more settings and just see what we can get from this. So I'm going to play around. Um, I'm going to change my start size to 0 0.8 now. In fact, no, let's change it back to 1 or 2. 2. I think we'll stick with 2. And yeah, I'm quite happy with how it's looking now. So we don't need to worry about too many settings in this because I'm not going for a massively complex um, thing uh, in this tutorial. You can take the time and do as much as you want to with this. As I'm pressed for time, this Tutorial's gone on well over 10 minutes now. Uh, I'm going to save that there and I'm going to press play and we should hopefully see the rotation with the particle system. There. So that looks fine, like it would be a, an acceptable collectible item. So quickly going back to the uh, rotation script, what we can also use that script for is if we go to game object, we go to 3D object and sphere. So throughout our game, we'll have objects that we have to avoid, like, for example, planets. So I'm going to increase the size of this to, let's say, um, 5 by 5 by 5. So we have quite a big planet. Let's ensure it is aligned with everything else. So bring it into here and up a bit. And the same principle of the rotation can apply to this sphere. So I'm going to right click, uh, rename, I'm just going to call this planet 001. And on this script, I'm actually going to hold control, press D to duplicate that script. It will give it a quick think down here, which is fine. I'm going to right click. And um, in fact, no, I'm going to do F2 just to rename it that way. Instead of calling it star rotation, I'm going to call this planet zero, uh, planet zero zero one rotation. Now I want this planet to rotate slower. So open it up in Mono Develop or Visual Studio, whichever, and let's change the speed to one and save. Now, once it's had a quick think, we can drag and drop that rotation onto the planet object. Now, when we press play, we probably won't see it rotate because there's no real texture applied to it. 
So once we apply a texture to this particular um, sphere, it will look more like a planet rather than just a sphere. So we'll leave this tutorial there for now. Um, so we've learned about rotation and we don't have to use animation. If you want to use animation for the rotation, that's entirely up to you. Um, but we will go into animation later on in this series anyway. For now, I would recommend sticking with um, just the rotation script. If you're having problems with the script, um, I'll stick this star rotation script, this exact one, on the website. So you can head over there and download it for free. Uh, hopefully you shouldn't have too many problems with it because it is a relatively simple script. Um, next episode we'll look at adding some texture to this particular planet and um, we'll look at adding in more things and we'll deal with, in fact I think we'll deal with normal maps. I don't usually deal with normal maps so early on in tutorials but now as we're coming to the point of where we want um, things in our game we'll deal with them now. After that we'll look at creating sections of this game and then randomizing them as the level goes along. Then we'll probably look at music, we'll look at a title screen, we'll look at um, a death screen and so on. So things are starting to come together, although it may, seem, may not quite seem it just yet. By the end of um, probably next tutorial, things will start coming together quite nicely. So uh, until the next episode, you play around with your particle system, you get your rotations going just right, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.